This talk is about bone healing after fracture. Fracture is not just a trauma for the body, but it also affects the mind of the patient. A patient usually has a fear regarding the proper healing of his broken bone and often asks, Doctor, is there anything I should eat to help my bones heal? And we normally reply with the same answer, just eat healthy food. Even though, at the back of our mind, we always wonder, is there something specific we should recommend? Well, that something is what we are going to focus on in this video. Normal physiological bone maintenance process is quite different from the bone fracture healing. On one side, where normal bone maintenance process involves remodeling of bone, bone fracture healing includes a myriad of processes, out of which bone remodeling is just part of the process. Each involved process has its own distinct characteristics and requirements. When the bone breaks, there is release of blood from the broken blood vessels, which results in formation of hematoma, that is a blood clot. During few initial days of fracture healing, there is no blood supply to hematoma. To initiate the healing, blood vessels from adjacent tissues intrude the hematoma. This reperfusion of hematoma results in formation of free radicals. Following this, mesenchymal cells are recruited to the site of injury where they are differentiated into osteogenic cells to initiate the healing process. There is formation of collagen fibers, the main framework of the new bone to be formed, and neovasculogenesis of the region. This phase is called the phase of soft callus formation. Once soft callus is formed, a soft, flexible, yet strong framework of new bone is ready for mineralization, where different minerals, namely calcium, magnesium, etc., will be deposited on the collagen framework so as to form a mineralized woven bone. This phase is known as the phase of hard callus formation. Following the formation of woven bone, when stress is applied, the remodeling process begins, which converts the woven bone into a compact bone, whereby the bone regains its initial shape and strength. This phase is known as the phase of bone remodeling. So, an ideal supplement will be the one which can support and accelerate these processes, thus helping the bone to heal faster. Let's now explore what can we have in this ideal supplement. Well, as we discussed, the inflammatory phase includes reperfusion of hematoma, resulting in formation of free radicals, which can lead to oxidative stress. Thus, supplementation with an antioxidant seems to be rational. Once we think about antioxidant, we get a glimpse of vitamin C. There are several studies which report that supplementation of vitamin C improves the marker of bone formation, thus aiding in fracture healing. Silicon is yet another important element to facilitate fracture healing. It works both during the formation of collagen fibrils as well as in initiation of the process of mineralization. According to the study published in Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2011, silicon is involved in early stage of bone calcification because localization of it has been observed in young healing bones of laboratory animals. Silicon aids in cross-linking of collagen fibrils so as to form a strong framework. Silicon is reported to be 25 times more concentrated in the unmineralized bone, where it attracts the required minerals to deposit on the healing bone framework. So silicon makes a rational supplement as well. Therefore, 
Next time, if a patient asks, can he or she take vitamin C? Well, certainly yes, they should. Because it not only fights against the formed free radicals, it also aids in formation of soft callus and hard callus. It may seem to be unbelievable, but it's true. It has been proven by research published in Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery. It has been proven in Shionogi rats. It may be noted that other types of rats can produce vitamin C, but like humans, Shionogi rats can't do that. So research seems to be promising. Vitamin C plays a crucial role in maintaining the connective tissue health. Hydroxyprolin is an important constituent of the collagen framework of bone. Vitamin C aids in its formation by acting as a cofactor of hydroxylase enzyme. This enzyme catalyzes the formation of hydroxyprolin within the body from amino acid prolin. Similar clinical reports regarding the benefit of vitamin C in fracture healing have been published in ACTA orthopedic and trauma surgery. According to the study, the vitamin C supplemented group showed faster fracture healing. Another important supplement that plays a crucial role in fracture healing is collagen peptides, a rich source of amino acids, namely lysine, prolin, and L arginine. It supports the fracture healing during soft callus and hard callus formation as well as during bone remodeling. But one should take caution while having collagen supplements because different types of collagen supplements are available in the market. Only type 1 collagen helps the fracture to heal faster because the natural bone collagen framework is made up of this only. Supplementation of collagen peptides type 1 provides all the essential amino acids required for synthesis of collagen type 1 in the body. It includes glutamic acid, arginine, alanine, prolin, hydroxyprolin, etc. Collagen peptides stimulate the release of insulin-like growth factor 1, thus helping in differentiation of osteoblast and aiding in muscle growth. Previously mentioned amino acids present in the collagen peptides help in revascularization of the formed soft callus, maintain proper nitrogen balance, as well as increase the activity of alkaline phosphatase, which is critical for mineralization. Wisdom says, Mother Nature always has the solution to every problem. It is so true because she even has answer to the question of accelerated fracture healing in form of scissors quadrangularis, which aids in fracture healing right from recruitment of mesenchymal cells to the mineralization of bone. It is such a package that it has been designated by the name of Hadjod in Hindi, meaning bone setter. Its efficacy has been proven by preclinical as well as clinical research. Cissus quadrangularis supports the recruitment of mesenchymal cells enhances proliferation of chondrocytes and increases the alkaline phosphatase activity so as to accelerate the mineralization of bone. Cissus quadrangularis ensures early initiation of bone resorption so as to remove the debris from the broken site with early initiation of osteoblastic activity. It also supports bone maturation by hastening the pace of callus hardening. It is clinically reported to reduce the fracture healing time by almost two weeks. Isn't that great? Well, it's true. In addition, vitamin D3 and vitamin K27 also aid in supporting the fracture healing, which has been proven clinically by various clinical studies. This couple works right from the soft callus formation to the remodeling phase of fracture healing. Vitamin K27 is reported to enhance the osteoblastic activity and decrease 
the osteoclastic activity. In addition, its major function is to do the carboxylation of osteocalcin and matrix GLA proteins, thus aiding in bone mineralization and reducing the risk of soft tissue calcification. Appropriate vitamin D3 is required to give callus its required strength. It has been observed clinically that patients with impaired fracture healing have insufficient vitamin D levels. According to the study published in reputed journal Bone in 2009, in vitamin D supplemented group, fracture callus remodeled better because its mechanical strength was good. There was increased transformation of woven bone into compact bone. Another logical supplement which one should include to accelerate fracture healing is calcium. Well, it is the most obvious one as our bone needs calcium to form hydroxyapatite crystal. Supplemented calcium is required right from the phase of recruitment of mesenchymal cells to the remodeling phase. But what kind of calcium salt you are taking is important. Best is one should take it in the form of incredible mineral transporters which are reported to deliver the calcium within the body in targeted manner. We require calcium both intracellularly as well as extracellularly. Therefore, a combination of calcium aspartate and calcium orotate will be the most rational one. Calcium aids in collagen formation by recruiting mesenchymal cells to the site of fracture healing. Calcium aspartate is reported to deliver the calcium in the outer layer of osteoblastic cell membrane. It activates osteoblast so as to make sure that delivered calcium is converted into bone mass. Within the body, calcium and magnesium go hand in hand. Magnesium also plays an important role from soft callus formation phase to the remodeling phase. As magnesium is largely an intracellular element, its most rational salt form to be used is magnesium orotate, which ensures its delivery within the osteoblast. Magnesium controls the size of hydroxyapatite crystal, thus giving the bone its required strength as well as flexibility. In addition, it also strengthens damaged muscles and supports the bone mineralization process. So go ahead and recommend calcium and magnesium to help the bone to heal faster. Another distinctly working mineral which aids in fracture healing is zinc which has been clinically proven to hasten the early stage of fracture healing and tissue repair. It too works right from the differentiation of mesenchymal cells into pre-osteoblast to remodeling of bone. It improves activity of osteoblast and increases the expression of alkaline phosphatase and osteocalcin. Yet another mineral which plays crucial role in bone healing after fracture is boron. It plays an important role from phase 1 to phase 3 of fracture healing. It promotes angiogenesis in newly formed soft callus for the supply of nutrients and oxygen. It increases expression of type 1 collagen and component of extracellular matrix. It also increases osteoblast recruitment as well as proliferation. Boron also works in synergy with magnesium to support mineralization of bone. Hyperhomocysteinemia is yet another complication which can impair the fracture healing by slowing down its various stages. So it would be preferable to have L-methylfolate the activated form of folic acid, mecobalamin, the activated form of vitamin B12, and pyridoxal 5-phosphate, the activated form of vitamin B6. 
These three ingredients are reported to work in synergy so as to aid in fracture healing. All three are reported to neutralize reactive oxygen species generated due to reperfusion of hematoma. They improve its blood flow. They increase osteoblastic activity and decrease osteoclastic activity. They decrease homocysteine level, thereby improving cross-linking of collagen fibrils. So a patient may be deprived of many nutrients that are important for bone health. Hence, supplementation of all the required nutrients is required during fracture healing to hasten the healing process as well as to maintain bone health. Now, introducing the total nutrition for fractured bone in one sachet, Aesop Total. Aesop Total ensures improved callus strength and proper bone union. Aesop Total is a unique combination of bone strengthener, bone setter, three mineral transporters, three osteotrophic vitamins, three osteotrophic minerals, and three homocysteine regulators which take care of all the nutritional requirements of fractured bone to heal and hasten its recovery. The recommended dose of Aesop Total is 1 to 2 sachets daily for improved callus strength and proper bone union.